Hello students, welcome back to Clarity Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. For more videos on conceptual clarity, you can log into our website clarityconcepts.com. So today in this lecture, we are going to talk about velocity potential function. Again, which is one of the very complex topic and students generally face difficulty in understanding this very clearly. So let us look at this particular topic. So let us say I have a fluid flow flowing in three dimensional space and uh, the flow is irrotational in nature. That means there is no rotationality involved in this flow. Now in this case, let us say I have the Cartesian coordinate system x and y to represent the flow and in this flow, if I mark several points, let us say at point A, I have velocity of particle that is Va and the component of this will be Ua and Va for example, the component along x and y. Okay. And similarly at another point, point B, the velocity will be let us say Vb and the components are Ub and Vb. Now what I, I, I want to convey is to you that. In this flow field, at different points, you have different velocity components, right? So, Ua and Ub will not be same. Neither Va, uh, Vb and Va will be same, right? They will not be same. So, in general, when fluid is, flow is happening and it is irrotational in nature, you have a function called velocity potential function, which is defined as, so let us say, I will just first explain you what is velocity potential function and then we will look at the definition. So, velocity potential function is symbolically represented by a symbol phi. It is such a scalar function of x, y and z, it is a function of x, y and z such that your velocity field is gradient of this function phi. Now what is gradient? Let me just explore this a bit. V is your ui plus vj plus wk, isn't it? Where u is velocity in x, v is velocity in y, w is velocity in z, right? This is equals to what is this? This is nothing but del phi by del x of i plus del phi by del y of j plus del phi by del z of k. It means that you basically, so once you have only uh, irrotational, I mean the velocity potential function, you can easily get the velocity in all the three directions. Why? How? Your u will be equals to del phi by del x you see u and x, right? Your v will be equals to what? v will be equals to del phi by del y and w will be equals to del phi by del z, isn't it? So rather than having different, uh, I mean, formulations for u, v, w, you can easily have one velocity potential function and giving you all the three components. So if you differentiate velocity potential with respect to x, you will get u. If you differentiate velocity potential with respect to y, you will get v and if you differentiate this function with respect to z, you will get w. But velocity potential function is not always available for all the flow. Remember this thing, they are only available for the irrotational flows. Remember this, right? So whenever you have the irrotational flow, you can easily find the velocity potential function and that can be used to calculate the velocity uh, fields, right? So what is potential function? Potential function is a scalar function defined for the irrotational flow, see I am again marking this for the irrotational flow such that its derivative with respect to x coordinate gives the velocity component in x direction such that its derivative with respect to x gives the velocity component in x that is u and its derivative with respect to y coordinate gives the velocity component in y direction so this and similarly for z isn't it. So I hope you understood this. So let us now solve several numericals based on this velocity potential function. So velocity potential function of a fluid flow is given by this. So they gave, they gave you the velocity potential function phi which is 3x square plus 4yz. Determine the velocity magnitude of the fluid at a point 1, 2, 3. All variables are in SI unit which means all the x, y, z are in meters. Now they have asked us to find out the velocity magnitude at this point of a given flow field where velocity potential is this. Now first task is to figure out u, v and w. Yes. Now how do you get u and v for example? So I know that v is equals to grad of 5. That means u is equals to del phi by del x. v is equals to del phi by del y and w is equals to del phi by del z. Simple. Find out the answers. What is del by del x of 3x square plus 4yz. What is the answer? Differentiation of 3x square with respect to x will be 6x. Differentiation of this with respect to x will be 0, so nothing. Equals to del by del y of 
3x square plus 4yz. Derivative of this partially with respect to y, this will be 0 and this, sorry, this is not z, z, this is yz. This is y and z. Differentiation of 4yz with respect to y will be just 4z. And then differentiation of phi with reference to z will be 3x square plus 4yz. So, derivative of uh, 3x square with respect to z will be 0. Derivative of 4yz with respect to z will be just 4y, will be 4y. Now, so you got all the three values, u is 6x, v is 4z, w is 4y. Now, what do you want? You want the values at 1, 2, 3. Calculate, what is u? u is equals to 6x. So, at this point, what is value of x? x is 1. So, you can put 1 instead of x, which is 6 meter per second. You got u. What is v? v is your 4z. What is value of z? It is 3 at a point which is 12 meters per second. What is w? 4y. What is value of y from this? 2. That is 4 into 2 which is 8 meters per second. So, what do you want? You want the magnitude of the velocity, right? So, velocity vector is clear with you. It is 6i that is ui plus 12j plus 8k at a given point. So, this is the velocity vector at a given point of the fluid. What is the magnitude? Magnitude will be under root of 6 square under root of 6 square plus 12 square plus 8 square, right? So, what is the answer? 6 square plus 12 square plus 8 square and then taking under root of that will give you 15.62 meters per second. So, velocity magnitude at a point 1, 2, 3 is 15.62 meters per second. This is the answer. Clear? I hope you understood. Let me check the answer. Yes, the answer is perfectly correct. All right. So, now we will look at another example. Let us say it is said that determine the velocity potential function. So, you have to find this. For an incompressible, irrotational and two-dimensional flow field whose stream function given to you is 2xy. So, you have been asked to find out what velocity potential function. So, how will you find that? You, you must have velocity field. For velocity field is not given to you. You have been given the stream function now. So, stream function is what? It is 2xy. Now, if you want to calculate the velocity field from the stream function, what do you, what do, you do? You know that u is equals to del psi by del y and v is equals to minus del psi by del x. So, firstly find out the uh, values of uh, velocity field. So, differentiation of stream function 2xy with respect to y, you will get just 2x. Similarly, what is this del by del x of 2xy? So, differentiating this 2xy with respect to x, you will get just 2y minus of that, right? This is u and v. So, now you found out the velocity field as 2xi minus 2yj, isn't it? So, this is your u, this is your v. But this is not the end of the numerical. You need to find out the phi. You know that u is equals to del phi by del x and also you know that v is equals to del phi by del y. So, replace the value of u and v over here. So, u is 2x. So, I will just interchange this. So, I can write it like this del phi by del x is equals to u and del phi by del y is equals to v. So, del phi by del x is equals to u which means what? Which means it is 2x. Now, if I integrate the expression with respect to x both the sides, what you will have is this will be cancelled. This is just phi. Integral of del phi is phi. An integral of 2x dx is 2 into x square by 2 plus a function of y because this is partial integration and you have never know that this may be a function of y. So, finally, you left with is phi equals to x square plus f of phi. Now, you don't know what is f of phi. So, what do you do? Basically, you take, let us save this equation number 1 for example. Now, you differentiate this equation. So, the moment you get f of phi, the final answer is clear because you want the value of phi. 
Now, how do you get f of y? We will derivate this equation with respect to y and then we will substitute this value. So, let me do it over here. Let me differentiate this with respect to y. What will I get? Del by del y of phi is equals to del by del y of x square plus this is your df by dy, isn't it? So, what is the value of del phi by del y? Del phi by del y is somewhere over here, you can see. This is v. And what is the value of v? v is nothing but minus 2y. So, minus 2y. So, I will put this minus 2y over here, minus 2y equals to. What is the differentiation of x square with respect to y will be 0 plus df by dy. So, now can we integrate both the sides with respect to y, dy and dy. So, we will get directly f. So, this is what? Minus 2y square by 2 is equals to f and then we will also put some constant c. Okay, this is cancelled. So, your f is equals to minus y square plus a constant c. So, this is your f. Now, put the value of f over here and you got the final answer of phi which is x square minus y square plus a constant c. This finally is your velocity potential function. Now, directly do not believe this function. Why? You can verify it whether the answer that you have got is correct or not. How? You know that potential function is such that when you differentiate this with respect to x, you must get u. This is this. So, kindly check it once. Can I differentiate this with respect to x? What will I get? This is 2x. This is 0. This is 0. So, is u equals to 2x? Yes. This is right. Similarly, you also check whether differentiating this with respect to y, whether it gives you v or not. So, differentiating this with respect to y, this is 0. This is minus 2y, this is 0. So, whether v is minus 2y or not, yes. This is the answer, correct? So, thank you so much for your uh, uh, jo uh, for joining us on this lecture. For more such conceptual videos, you, you can log into our website, clericconcepts.com. Thank you. See you in the next class.